Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to go over creating uh, clouds. Uh, you can do a lot of fun things with clouds in the built-in cloud effects tool that we have here. Um, I'm going to start off by, let's say, create a torus. It can really be anything. You can have even a model created that is that. Um, you can go in here and maybe adjust the radius a little bit just so that we can see kind of the separation pretty quick and I'm gonna go to cloud effects and create a cloud rig so when I click that it's going to ask us to select an object I'm gonna select that object push enter on my keyboard it'll go through a whole process and you'll see that really quickly we get a set of clouds that look actually pretty awesome um, and you can create really any shape that you want and these are kind of pretty realistic but you can it's obviously like you don't really find too many clouds that are a big ring like that um, but maybe if you needed to you could um, but that's kind of a starting point there you can do a simple shape like that um, and or any model really and attach it to a um, system like that. So I'm going to go into a second way to do it and this is going to be a little bit more kind of um, shaping a cloud. So I'm going to start off by creating a sphere. There we go. Create a sphere. And I'm going to go into the sphere node here and I'm going to start adding some transform nodes. So with the transform nodes here, um, I can have multiple of them. Oops. There we go. And then when I merge them back together, I'm only using the history of one sphere and procedurally creating multiple um, spheres for my scene. And let's just say that we have three. Um, to work with. So then I can take one and uh, maybe take that and translate it. There. And let me go back and create a merge node. And bring all these elements together so that we can see. So I'm going to look at this one but go into each one here and really go in and manipulate them individually um, so that way we can create kind of a different cloud. So let's maybe have that be the middle one and maybe for this one I'm going to take it and scale this up. Yeah. Maybe I like it better on the other side. Oops. Maybe bring it a little bit higher. And maybe this middle one, just scale it down a little bit. So we kind of have a shape here, maybe um, the first one that we have here, I'll take it and shift it to one side or another, just so that it's not perfectly straight, and maybe this one, just shift it a little bit up, oops, not that one, this one, translate Y, just so that we're kind of creating a different shape um, and a lot of the time when we look at clouds they're pretty flat on the bottom but they're kind of poofy on the top so what I want to use here is a um, cookie node and the cookie node is basically going to create a boolean for us so um, I'm going to create a cookie and it has two inputs if I middle click on that it says geometry A 
and geometry B. So we can connect the two geometries that we want to work with. So right now I'm going to do this one on this merge node, which is basically these three spheres. And then I am going to create a box. And with this box, what I'm going to do is add a transform. So And with this transform, I'm going to create the shape that I need for it. So right now, I can go into this transform and really kind of manipulate it. And I'm going to adjust the scale in the X and the Z so that way it encompasses the whole cloud there and maybe bring it a tiny bit higher and then let's look at this cooking node right now it's on union so that's why we see everything together but in our case we actually want to um, be able to extract one of them so we have A and B so we're going to minus A from B and actually it's going to be the reverse. So it creates this shape for us that is kind of um, cloud shaped, I guess. Um, looks a little weird now, but we'll make it better. Don't worry about that. So let's um, add a scatter node, and with this scatter node. what it's going to do is create points for us and this these points we're going to use to um, create more geometry so let's bring the total count down to something like 11 or so and then I'm gonna connect the original oops not that um, I want to do a copy node So with the copy, uh, input one, primitives two, template to copy. So the template to copy is going to go here, and the sphere is going to be connected there. So what you see now is that we have a whole bunch of spheres being created um, all over the place. So that gives us kind of a more cloud shape that we can do. And I'm going to maybe switch this to uh, space shaded, but I gotta turn on the light here, the display flag. So we kind of have this shape though. So that's gonna be our new kind of cloud shape. And you can see that it's relatively flat on the bottom and we have more um, noise on top which is kind of what we want to go with. Um, with the scatter if we didn't like the pattern that we've created here we can um, try to increase more spheres and create a more natural look. Maybe I like that better and you can also adjust the seed value so that's going to randomize where those spheres are created on this shape to create different um, cloud shapes for us. So maybe I like this version here. I'm going to go to objects and I'm going to actually not tap but go to the cloud effects and do the same thing we did earlier. I'm, I'm just going to select this geometry and click cloud grid. You'll see it go through the process and create the cloud and we have this cool little poofy cloud that is ready to be used in your scene and it looks pretty awesome. Um, if you want to make adjustments on it because this is actually looks pretty decent but maybe you wanted a little bit more resolution or something like that in your cloud you can go to the, if we lay this out, we have the original sphere object and let's call this um, uh, cloud geo and then I'll name this 
cloud jewel in case I have more clouds in the future. So that way I know where to find it. But if we go into the cloud from cloud geo node in here, um, we have nodes that we can adjust. The one that we really want to adjust to um, fix some of the settings here is the cloud setting or the cloud node here. And the uniform sample divisions, if we increase this, you'll see once it calculates it, it creates a much more high detailed version of that cloud which is pretty nice. Um, and then, yeah, so there's that. Also, you'll see that when we created the cloud rig, it creates a sunlight and a skylight. So the sunlight here in the scene, you'll see that is this light here. And we can adjust settings with it. So if we wanted it to be kind of an orange sun looking, and then with the sky, we want to be able to reflect kind of a more blue light then um, we can do that and you can see how that really affects the cloud there which looks really nice. Okay so that's creating clouds in Houdini so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Um, we'll see you guys in a future lesson.